Hi, I'm Alexa with George Moore Chevrolet, and today we're at Vintage Arts. So can you guys tell us a little bit more about your store? Sure. Uh, my name is Rachel, and this is Julia. We're the owners of Vintage Arts. Uh, we are located in the Mandarin area off of San Jose Boulevard. Um, we are quite an eclectic local business. We have vintage items. We teach workshops here. Um, we have clothes. We have locally made items and gifts. Um, so we just have a really large array of different things that we provide. Mm -hmm. um, we really like to support the local community. We have a lot of local makers that sell within our store. Um, and so we're very proud of that. And we do like to encourage um, that support of local small businesses. So we actually took this store over, um, it's almost been two years. So uh -huh. there was a previous owner here. We were actually teaching workshops um, first, and that's how we met her and um, got into this business. Mm -hmm. um, so we were teaching here and we still teach, obviously. A lot of you who've been here um, know we do a lot of uh, macrame, we do mosaics, we do chalk painting classes. Um, we sell the Annie Sloan chalk paint brand, so we do classes on that. Um, so we still, so we are first and foremost teachers. Okay. Um, and we still do teach, um, and we like to teach lots of different art classes. We like to do that inspiration, you know. Yeah. We have chalk painted furniture. You'll see some of our artwork. Um, we do a mosaic class. Um, so we have like one of our mosaics on that buffet over there. Mm -hmm. um, macrame. Macrame, um, yes. Uh, what have been some of your biggest challenges that you've faced as a small business owner? Well, definitely this past year has been very challenging and I know from a lot of other small businesses with just the economy being the way it is, people are being um, a lot more careful of their spending mm -hmm. and that has really uh, brought a lot of challenges for us and a lot of other local small businesses. So. Definitely, definitely support your local small businesses. We definitely need you. I feel like we really got our workshops, um, really increased the number of workshops we've had. We've mm -hmm. really uh, introduced a lot of diversity into our workshops. So I think that's one of our big successes. That's why we built the new classroom, yeah. which we're so proud of. Um, and I think people are really love having um, you know that learning experience they get to learn to do something new they get to meet new people and mm -hmm. they get to have fun and that's the most important part yeah what advice uh, do you have for aspiring small business owners uh, don't give up <laughs> so that is uh, it, it's hard it is very mm -hmm. hard to be a small business owner and whether you're a brick-and-mortar store like us or you know you're just doing it in your house which is basically where we used to do we used to work out of our houses um, you know, don't give up, it's hard, but you can do it, you know, and if you have that artistic vision, you know, that needs to get out in the world, you know, there is a, there is a place for it. So you can find us at our brick and mortar store. You can find us online. It's www.vintageartsinc.com and our social media tags are at Vintage Arts Inc. Inc. Um, we are Instagram and Facebook. Pinterest, all of that, so you can find us online and in the store.